Now we are move on to anti-tubercular uh, drugs. Um, there are various drugs in this category, and they all act in different ways. However, they are all bacteriostatic. Um, they treat uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, um, which has a tendency to develop resistant strains, and therefore two to four drugs within this category should be given over a period of six to twelve months in order to combat the resistance. Um, the first drug in the category is isonazide, also known as INH. Adverse effects for this drug include peripheral neuritis, which is characterized by paresthesia of the hands and feet, so tangling. Um, to combat this or prevent this, uh, give um, vitamin B6 with the INH uh, to prevent the, uh, the neuritis. Also, there's a chance for increased risk of ab uh, abnormal liver function. Uh, so liver function tests should be done before and during INH therapy to check for this. The next drug is uh, pyrazinamide, also known as PZA. Um, uh, adverse effect include increase in liver function tests, so liver function tests should be done before and during PZA therapy. Um, and also there's a high risk of, um, or at least a risk for gout, so um, because PZA may increase uric acid levels, so you want to check those. Next is rifampin, um, also uh, refu uh, rifabutin, uh, they're kind of the same drug. Um, adverse effect could be a red-orange body secretion. Um, a good way to remember this mnemonically would be rifampin causes red. Um, also, rifampin um, affects the action of many drugs. Uh, for instance, rifampin induces liver enzymes, making the body better at clearing other drugs. Uh, it negates the birth control pill completely, um, or at least in a good portion that it's you know you're going to want to be careful. Uh, it also decreases the action of steroids, anticoagulants, and digoxin. Also, uh, look for uh, GI disturbances and liver toxo toxos toxicity. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, so that's why you, you want to give rifampin on an empty stomach to prevent both um, of those. Next is myambital. Um, look for optic neuritis. So that would be decreased visual acuity and loss of red-green color discrimination. Uh, patients should have a visual testing done before starting the medication and every two to four weeks while receiving it. Also check for elevated uric um, acid, uh, monitor those levels, um, and watch for symptoms of gout. Now we move on to the drugs that are antiviral um, for uh, herpes simplex and herpes zoster virus 1 and 2 treatment. Um, the uh, two drugs within these categories are acyclovir and famacyclovir. Um, methods of administration, for um, there is a uh, by mouth PO um, used as, uh, to treat initial and recurrent genital herpes, cold sores, and shingles, which is herpes zoster. Um, at first sign of an outbreak, the patient should take his order and continue until the lesions go away. This uh, regimen should um, completely diminish the severity or greatly diminish the severity of an outbreak. Sorry. Um, IV therapy is initial therapy for severe herpes. And topical therapy, um, it's, uh, systemic absorption is minimal. Um, topical application will reduce healing time and virus shedding time, but is less effective overall than oral administration. Um, adverse effects include, um, for the oral drugs, uh, GI symptoms, headache, and arthralgia. Um, for IV um, administration, adverse effects include phlebitis and inflammation at the injection site. Do not give a large bolus. Um, give over at least one hour and hydrate well. And for uh, topical administration, uh, there's a transient burning, stinging, pain, and rashes are common adverse effects. For nursing care, um, teach patients to cover lesions with topical a cyclovir is ordered, but do not exceed frequency or length of time. Teach patient to use a finger cut um, or rubber glove when applying ointment to prevent spread of lesions. Um, a cyclovir and uh, velcyclovir and uh, famillocyclovir do not cure herpes and will not prevent transmission of disease to others 
um, or, reoccur uh, or reoccurrence. Um, antivirals shorten the, ep the episode. You need to teach this to make it very clear to patients. Uh, so patients with herpes simplex should be evaluated for the presence of other sexually transmitted diseases. Now we move on to antivirals that are used to prevent and treat influenza type A. Um, drugs in this category include Symmetrol, um, which is also used to treat Parkinson's disease uh, because it increases dopamine levels. There's also flumidogrel, Rilaza, and Tamiflu. Um, these drugs are often given orally as tablet or syrup, or um, the uh, Zanamiravir uh, can be inhaled. Nursing care and adverse effects. Um, you're going to want to watch for nausea, dizziness, insomnia, and nervousness. Uh, you're going to want to check um, blood pressure twice a day for orthostatic hypotension, hypotension. Um, treat or teach clients to avoid aspirin and acetaminophen as these may decrease the concentration of uh, romantidine and uh, xanam, uh, xanamirvir and oseltamivir uh, have fewer side effects but must be taken within 30 hours of onset of symptoms to be effective. So uh, just keep those in mind. Next are antivirals um, used to treat uh, cytomegalovirus, also known as CMV, um, these infections. Um, they're used uh, a lot in uh, immunocompromised patients, um, and it should be noted that they are not curative and may require lifelong therapy. Examples of the drug include um, cytovine um, and uh, visitide and foscovir. Um, it's, they're all given IV, but uh, 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 cytovine can be given also PO. Um, you're going to want to check for uh, bone marrow suppression as a, as a possibility, so watch for infection and bleeding, and check uh, blood count. Also check for headache, seizures, and neuropathy. Nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea are also common side effects. Um, there might also be um, eye problems, uh, like abnormal vision, so you want to do some tests for those and just, or just you know, keep an eye out. Also, renal damage is possible, um, so monitor creatinine clearance levels frequently during therapy.